Welcome to Retro Bliss Gaming. Today I'm reviewing the Atari 2600 homebrew game Colony 7. Colony 7 for the 2600 is a port of the arcade game released by Taito in 1981. It was created by Manuel Rotskar, whose previous Atari 26 homebrew games include Gunfight, Sea Wolf, Starfire, and Crazy Balloon. Colony 7 is like a mix of Missile Command and Atlantis. The goal is to defend your colony from the enemy fighters trying to break through the colony's shield to destroy your cannons. The goal is to defend your colony from the enemy fighters trying to break through the colony's shield. You have a crosshair on the screen and your cannon shots are fired automatically. If you get in trouble, you can hit the fire button to activate what's called the Mega Blaster, which will empty the sky of your enemies. But each shot will drain a fuel cell and you only have three. If you succeed in destroying a squadron of enemies, then you'll have another squadron to deal with, except for this time they get tougher. In my version of Colony 7, you use your joystick to steer your targeting crosshairs across the screen. The fighter is the most common, first blasting away at the colony, then its shields, and then your cannons. There are water called advisors which will guide your fighters faster to their targets so you'll have to destroy them as quickly as possible. The bombers will launch guided missiles directly at one of your cannons so you have to be alert for it. If it succeeds in launching its bomb you have to destroy it before it reaches the target. When the scout enters your field of view, it will call for a replacement ship, so be sure to give it your utmost priority. There's actually a trackball version of this game that can be purchased at Atari Age that can be used with the Atari CX-22 or CX-80 trackballs, an Atari ST mouse, or an Amiga mouse. This game may be better controlled with a trackball, but it's still fun to play nonetheless. The graphics and sound are fantastic, and it's a must-have game for anyone who has a 2600. Colony 7 can be downloaded for free from the Atari Age website, and either the trackball or joystick cartridge versions can be purchased there also. I'll leave a link in the description. Well that wraps it up for my review of Colony 7. Please drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you like what you see here. Be a part of our never-ending search to discover all things in retro gaming. Have a blessed day and we'll see you next time.